Shark Boo Wafu. It's the Crab Brothers. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did they get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabu. Lit. The more we plant, the better. Yeah, that way when she comes, we'll be all ready for her. Right. Here's the dirt and the grass seed. All right. We planted some grass in Animal Junction, so the African crown crane we've been seeing will fly in for a visit. Yeah, what an African crown crane likes to eat is in here, from the tips of the grass to the yummy insects that live inside. You'd better take off, buddy. We have some grass, but we need a lot more. So, let's get back to planting. Oh! Uh. Oh. Mm. If only we had horns. <laughs> yeah, you can bet that when bighorn sheep butt heads, those big horns really come in handy. <laughs> their horns help protect their heads when they head butt. Do you think we should call Zabu? All right. Zabu! Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> see if you can find me, Zab. Zabu, over here. <laughs> Woo! I'll get Zabu a snack. Want a piece? There you go. Keep on munching, buddy. Give me some of the food! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hi, great to see you. All right, Zob. If we grow a lot of grass, we might get an African crowned crane to visit. You want to help us? Yeah, let's plant some grass. Grass? That's what the creatures I saw today were eating. They were eating and playing and having fun. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> he had big, hard toenails. When I saw him, he was jumping around. <laughs> His legs were strong, but springy, springy, springy. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He liked to go and eat lots of grass. He liked it a lot. Horny-headed grass eater. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's see. Split hooves makes a ma sound. The horns on the head is the dead giveaway. Sounds to me like ghosts. ghosts. Ah, mystery animals are here. Dig those crazy legs. Ah. An African pygmy goat and her kid. Her kid? A baby goat is called a kid, just like you are. Wow. You want to try a little grass seed? Don't eat too much, though. We need it for the cranes, right? She really likes it. Hey, goats, don't eat all that grass seed. Save some of it for the crowned crane. He'll be hungry, too. Look at those spiky horns on her head. Manga Zika. 
bikes. I love them. And the kid has two popping up, too. Oh, yeah. You know, a goat's horns never stop growing, kind of like your fingernails. Different creatures have amazing things on top of their heads. Fur feathers horns. They're the amazing creature lids. Feathery lids. Loose skin lids. Horn lids. Spiral lids. Branch lids. All kinds of lids for all kinds of creatures. I can't believe my mind. This is really flipping my lid. More goats! It's a goat invasion! Wow! They must have smelled all the grass growing in Animal Junction. Come on in! The more lids, the merrier! <laughs> goats! And sheep, too! These goats are making themselves right at home in Animal Junction. I think Animal Junction just turned into Sheep and Goat Junction. <laughs> What's he doing? That baby goat is drinking milk from his mother's, huh? Oh, yeah. But how do you know he's a goat and not a sheep? The way you tell a difference between a goat and a sheep is to look at their chin. Goats usually have beards, and sheep usually don't. Oh. OK, OK, I get it. So that's a goat. <laughs> because he's got a beard. And that's a sheep, see? No beard. Right on, Zob. We're a herd of sheep and goats. Mangatsika, I bet I can make a sound like a little goat. Want to hear me? OK. The uh, brothers, they're eating all the grass. Whoa, maybe I should get this out of the way. Goats and sheep love eating grass and plants. And we're gonna need this grass for the crown crane. But we'll get you guys some of your favorite food from the snack machine. In fact, goats will eat just about anything, including my T-shirt. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You want to eat my T-shirt? <laughs> That's what happens when you get in the way of a Barbados ram. Well, we don't want to get in his way, but if we don't get to the snack machine and fast, the goats and sheep are going to eat everything we planted. Uh-oh. Better hurry up, guys. You're right, Zabubafu. Come on, Chris. To the snack machine. Okay, goat food. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I think the snack machine's broken. Hold on a second. I think maybe we just need a little adjustment here. I hope this works, Martin. Okay. Mm. Uh-oh. The snack machine's really broken. Whoa. The goats and sheep really like those plants. Maybe we could put the plant somewhere where the sheep and goats can't get it until we fix the snack machine. Good idea, Zop. Might as well give it a try. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's one. The grass will be safe there. Another one. Going up. Got to get at that grass before you guys eat it all. Oh, you guys make a mess. Oh, we got it. Here you go, Chris. All right, pass it right over. Thanks. Don't worry, we'll fix the machine. Then you'll have lots of snacks to eat. All right, another one's off. Way to go. Here you go, Chris. All right, going up. Okay, back to the snack machine. Okay. All right, Tom, you watch the plants. We'll fix the snack machine. Sure, no problem. No goats will get up here. It'll be easy. Here. They found the grass. 
How did you get up here? Wild goats are great climbers, Zob. Well, how do they do it? They've all got broken feet. Well, their feet aren't broken, Zob. That's how they're supposed to be. Goats and sheep have split hooves, and that helps wild goats climb up steep, rocky cliffs. Really? Yeah. And baby goats and sheep, like baby doll sheep that live in the wild, practice climbing when they're really young so they can get around in the mountains where they live. Whoa! <laughs> yes, he can! I can't believe my mind. Goats are incredible. Putting the plants high is not gonna work. We just have to fix that snack machine and fast. Yeah, yeah. We better get that snack machine fixed really soon because the sheep and goats are really hungry. Hey, baby goat, watch out for the edge. Guys, guys, hurry! Watch it, baby goat's gonna fall. Whoa. We have to save the kid before that happens. I'll get him! Chris, the kid! What a leap! He's okay because baby goats are great leapers. Big male rams aren't always nice to baby goats. Or to Martin. <laughs> Remember what happened to Martin when that Barbados ram butted him? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to give rams their space. Different creatures use their horns for different things, besides just pushing other creatures around. A moose can use his lid to scratch an itch on his foot. Martin, sheep and goats are still eating the grass. The snack machine still isn't working. And, uh-oh, the grass is almost all gone. They eat more than anyone I know. And I know some big eaters. Whoa, that's my tail. You're not supposed to eat that. Guys, can't you fix this snack machine? Look out for the ramp. Whoa! <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Pointy head. You remind me of my friend Noggendrill from Zabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along, leap, 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 when I heard my friend Noggendrill. Hey, Google, let's dance. Google okay. was there too. Oh, okay, Noggendrill. I hopped over to say hello. Hello, Google. Oh, oh hello, Noggendrill. Oh, Zabu. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, we're gonna dance. You wanna join us? Oh, yeah. Show me your moves. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Wow, well, my turn, huh? Whoop, step ball change. <laughs> this is great! Hey, guys, how about this move? Wow, the super duper lid spin! And everyone came from near and far to see Noggendrill's new dance move. Oh, that was amazing! That's amazing! <laughs> Noggendrill, that was a great move! Oh, thanks, Abu! Everybody danced and celebrated because of Noggendrill's super duper lid spin. Yes. Well, do, it do it again, again Noggin Drill. Noggin Drill. Yeah, do it again. The end. <laughs> Could you do the super duper lid spin too? With those horns, huh? What's that? Sometimes the snack machine is a little temperamental. This ought to do it. Huh? I think it's working. Pretty soon you're gonna be Vuki. You'll have all kinds of yummy, delicious food. Guys, do you really think it'll work? Let's try it. <laughs> Ready? Uh-oh. Uh-oh's right! She's gonna blow! Whoa! The snack machine's really broken this time! Whoa! <laughs> it's raining snacks! My favorite kind of rain. Come and get it, Lids! Well, it looks like it's the goat and sheep's favorite kind of rain, too. <laughs> Look at that munch. Monk and Sika, they like the food from the snack machine. Yeah, like I said, goats and sheep will eat just about anything. That guy loves the apples. <laughs> hey, they really like the corn, huh? Yeah. And hey, these guys are using their lids. 
I'm <laughs> pushing each other out of the way to get food. If you're gonna try to eat with a sheep, you need good protective headgear like they have. Going in. Good luck, Chris. Oh, those sheep know how to use their hands at the yep. top. Yep. Like uh -oh. it. That little goat's trying to help you, Chris. It's a good thing I have this helmet on. These sheep have strong heads. <laughs> okay, you win. Whew. Come on, Google, let's butt heads too. Uh, I don't think so. All these lids are making me feel goatish. I feel different, not the same. With this kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel goatish. How about you, goatish? I feel goatish. Goatish. I'm a pointy headed goat, but I feel sheepish too. Hey guys, guess who's here? Hey Bradley! Hey! How are you doing? Come on in! He's with a Border Collie. Border Collies can learn to round up sheep. <laughs> All right. Come on, Chip. Come on, Bradley. So, you wanted some help getting your goats and sheep? We fed them up for you, Bradley. Yeah. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Bradley, your dog, Trim! Hey, uh, Trim! Don't forget Baby Goat, he's here! Bradley, don't forget this little goat. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye, Bradley. See you, Trim! Bye, sheep. Bye, goats. You know, it was great hanging out with the goat and sheep all morning. And we still have grass left for the African crowned crane. Yeah! <laughs> Incoming! Duck! Duck. It's Moonface. The barn owl mm -hmm. with a special delivery. I can't believe all the incredible creatures I saw today. And they all had amazing lids. Like a banana slug. Those things that look like horns are called antennae. Then I saw a luna moth. Look at those amazing antennae. A luna moth's antennae can help him smell. In fact, a male luna moth can smell a female luna moth from miles away. Wow, if I can smell something that far, I'd be able to smell my pie from... from farther than here. Even farther than here. And I'd be able to smell my pie from even farther than here. Yep. If I were a Luna Moth, I'd probably be able to smell my pie all the way from here. Okay, I have a great idea. Let's go out into the wild to see horns, antlers, and all sorts of other lids. To the closet. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on. Are you ready? Trip. Let's go. They're going to the closet to oh! grab their stuff and split. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Binoculars. They always come in handy. See you, Zabu! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. All right, let's go and find out what those animals are doing with their lids. We have ours! <laughs> Chris, look after that rock! What rock? Whoa! Oh. Oh, are you okay, Chris? Yeah, no problem. My helmet protected my head. Yeah, just like his horns are protecting his. Pronghorn oh, antelope. Incredible. Hey, and look at them lid wrestle. Pronghorn antelope fight with their horns to find out who's the most powerful male. They fight hard, but they don't hurt each other because those horns lock into each other, keeping them from banging their heads too hard. Just like my helmet protected my head when I hit the ground. Lid wrestling's over, and now everyone can get back to grazing.
and we can get back to riding. Don't forget your lid, Chris. No way. All right. Hey. Woo. Woo. Martin, look out for the brand. No brand. Right, Martin? Yeah, thanks to my lid. Ooh, but I do hear a cracking sound. That cracking sound's not coming from in your head. It's coming from their heads. Moose. And moose use their antlers to fight for females, just like the pronghorns do. It looks rough, but moose antlers are also designed to protect their heads when they fight, so no one gets hurt. Just like my helmet. Moose are so cool and so big. And They're... getting even bigger because he's heading right towards us. Oh my gosh. Maybe he wants to headbutt us. I know, but I don't think our helmets will stand a chance against his antlers. You're right, bro. We better get back to Animal Junction. I'm right behind you. Woo! Our helmets sure came in handy today. Oh yeah. So, Chris, you think our plan worked? I don't know. Sounds pretty quiet in there. Let's check it out. Come on. Hey, guys, guess who's here? An African crowned crane. All right. Are you sure you don't want any more? Hey, <laughs> our plan to get the African crowned crane to visit Animal Junction worked. How long has he been here, Zah? Well, ever since you guys left. Yeah? Yeah. Did you like the grass? Oh, he ate and he ate and he ate and then he ate some more. Wow. Right. An African crowned crane stomps around in the grass to scare up insects to eat. When the insects fly or jump away, the crane catches them with his long beak. But that's not all. He also loves to eat the seeds at the tips of the grass. And he ate a lot of seeds while you guys were gone. <laughs> we made a new animal friend. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. I've never seen anything like what's on his head. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's called a crowned crane. And I'm called Wiggy Wexwing Bob! That sounds like the crown crane. Almost. I remember when Chris and I were on the savannah of Africa, and we saw African crown cranes, and they would fly high straight up into the air. And then we saw why the cranes were flying. A cheetah was on the prowl. Now, cheetahs might mean danger to cranes, so the cranes flew to another spot. Yeah, the cheetah was just passing by. Once the cranes knew they were safe, they had a drink. Chris, he's standing on one leg. When a crane wants to go to sleep, he just tucks his head under his wing and stands on one leg. Well, that's easy. I can go to sleep on one leg. Try it, Sob. <laughs> Well, it would be easy if I could go to sleep. <laughs> well, Zab, why don't you just close your eyes and pretend you're asleep uh. and try to stand on one leg for as long as you can. Oh, okay. You want to try it too? Uh. Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mon Monkatsika, this is really hard for a lemur. Uh, it's a lot easier for a crowned crane. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. It's harder than it looks, isn't it, Zab? Yeah. And it makes me think of a story. <laughs> Okay, one time in Zabu land, I was leap leaping along, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 and I was having so much fun that I wanted everybody to jump around with me. Uh, Hello, Google, yeah. I said. Hello, Noggin Drill. Oh, watch your hand. Uh, Hello, Zabu. Hello, Zabu. Let's jump around. Oh, jumping. Oh, I'm a great jumper. I can catch a lot of air. Watch, watch. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, and I love jumping, too. Watch this. Nogginville jumped up, but he didn't come back down. Hey, get me down. My lid's stuck in this tree. I'm coming, Noggy. Oh, oh, thanks, Zabunafuasaurus. No Whoa. problem. Why don't you hop on, and we'll jump around together. And that's what we did. Wow. Ready? Woo. <laughs> the end. Oh, did you like my hang time? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I think the crane liked your story, Zabu. I like today. I especially love the kids. Kids like you, and kids like the goats. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. Hey, Mark, let's snap on our helmets and go mountain biking. Oh, yeah, and we'll see you later, okay? All set. Eat all the grass you want, Crane. My name is Jordan, and this is my goat, Ping, and she likes to bud.